Today I'm gonna to challenge myself to draw something in 10 minutes, then redraw it in one minute, and then redraw it in 10 seconds and see what happens. <laughs> so I've already got my colors picked out. I've got a mechanical pencil, a Pigma Micron, a kneaded eraser. It's all out and ready for the grabbing. <laughs> I've got a timer. I'm gonna hit start and we'll see what happens. Today I think I will draw this character. Let's see, this one wheels. <laughs> She's kind of complicated, so I'm probably throwing myself under the bus <laughs> before I even start, but I really want to draw her, and that's what I feel like doing. So, oh, why am I so nervous? Okay. <laughs> am I ready? Am I ready? Because if I can't draw it in 10 minutes, these next two are going to be uh, quite interesting, so whew, let's hope I can prove myself here. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's try and make sure the pose fits on this little piece of paper first. What if she was doing the peace sign? Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay. <laughs> and then your other arm would just be like coming around that way. Should she maybe be looking upwards a little bit? I'm also going to be drawing this in my like jelly bean style because that's a little simpler and I thought maybe that would help give me some uh, better results. She has one of those skirts that has like a two panels that makes sense like that. Her legs be this way. She's, I called her wheels because she always wears roller skates, but I guess you're not gonna be able to see her roller skates because they'd be down this way somewhere. <laughs> but she has this cute baggy shirt that tucked into her little high-waisted skirt. Okay, I'm spending too much time on that. This is just the sketch, gotta, gotta get some expression in here. Oh, so cute, look how happy she is. She has a pretty big jawline, so let's try and uh, capture that. There we go. And uh, one of the telltale signs of my jelly bean style is that no matter which direction the face is looking, <laughs> you can always see both uh, ears. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. Now I need to add her hair. She has these two, she has her hair pulled pretty straight back on the top. Ooh, this part doesn't look great. And then... Do I have time to do these sort of things? We'll see. I've been told that I draw pretty fast, so we're putting that to the test today. <laughs> what else I had is she has these two low ponytails, but they are very voluminous. Like so. She looks a little uh, left heavy. <laughs> like all the weight looks like it's on the left. Maybe if I draw this arm in here, that'll help. Our big baggy sleeve. Okay, I've got seven and a half minutes left. I feel like I drew her hips too big. This character doesn't have huge hips. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Um, let's just start doing the lines <laughs> and hope for the best. Okay, because I'm about halfway done with my time and I want to get some color in here. Because I'm not sure I'm going to have any time in the one minute. And I'm definitely probably not going to have any time in the ten seconds. So this will be interesting. Oh my gosh. I'm like shaking with nerves. Ears. This ear doesn't look big enough. This hand's getting in my way. I shouldn't have done so much overlapping. Okay. I would usually erase a little bit of the sketch before going in with this pen. So that I can see a little better. And yeah, that might have helped. <laughs> might have helped a little here. I'm gonna have to simplify her ponytail a little bit more than I normally do. But that's part of the challenge, I guess. That's actually probably one of the best reasons to do this challenge is to help simplify maybe your art style if you feel like you're getting your art stiffened by some having too many details or something like that. This would probably be a good exercise for that. What are we doing? All right, we're halfway through here. Got five minutes and nine seconds. I feel like I'm rushing myself too much. I should probably slow down a bit and try and draw this better. <laughs> what was I thinking with this hand? Okay, um, you ever sketch something and then when you go into add the line art, you're like, what was I thinking? Okay, I think I, oh, wait, am I done with the line art? Sweet, I still have four minutes and 22 seconds here. This doesn't look too bad. I could have done worse. <laughs> Erase that. Start adding in some color. Let's start with the skin. Uh, I think it's 25 just for skin. I don't have time for the chisel. I mean, <laughs> that's not what I meant to say. Okay, what I don't have time for is the little bullet nib because I need to cover a wide 
area in little time. So chisel, chisel's my friend here. Chisel tip. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, three minutes, 30 seconds. Spending too much time. Okay, here we go. That was the first one. Uh, look 45 is our shirt. I'm so glad that I had the colors picked out already. This would not be working in my favor if I hadn't. I'm also kind of glad that I didn't draw a full body because there's a lot more colors that would go into this. Oop, wrong one side. The little emoji on her shirt. She actually has like a little pink um, stroke, stripe, I guess that's the word, <laughs> that goes on the bottom of her skirt. And then her hair is uh, 96 is the color. Coloring those eyebrows. Bet. Oh geez, I went outside the line. Ooh, that's the that's the struggle of using the chisel tip. Oops, I don't think I'm supposed to go that far either. Oopsie. <laughs> oh no. Okay, you know what? Let's just move on to another area here. That one's giving me trouble. Oh, <laughs> See, with markers, you usually go over the area a little bit smoother than this, so you don't get all these streaks. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I think that's it. So now I can start adding any sort of details, maybe if I want, like maybe color in her lips and maybe her nose. Why not? Okay, let's go all in with that. Oop, sort. And elbow, maybe. And you could do fingernails. Doo -doo -doo. That's kind of cute. Um, hmm. Sometimes I'll shade in with a pencil if I feel like it. So I actually have a lot of time left. I could actually just go in and try and fix the hair up a bit with the, uh, what's that? The fine points, what they call it. I've already gone way outside the lines, but. No oh, well for that one. <laughs> I missed so many areas I didn't even realize. There's so much like white space. That's what happens when you're rushing, rushing in a hurry to get things done. Why don't I have like a fun woohoo frizziness to her hair? It's kinda cute, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it looks stupid. How does that look? 27 seconds left. I actually could probably touch up her skin a bit. I think I see a lot of white space there too. Oh, actually I see where I need some, uh... Right, there's where hair color should be. Like that. Perfect. Oop. Six seconds left. I want to add some shading maybe to this. That's enough. Whoop! And that is time! Okay, so... Basically what I learned is that I rushed a little bit too fast at the beginning and then I had all this time, but I'd already made mistakes from the rushing that I couldn't fix. So yeah, if I were to do that again, I would probably try to pace myself a little bit better. But yeah, that's the 10 minutes. Now we're going to move on to try and draw this exact same picture, but in one minute. <sighs> <laughs> so let's switch this to one minute. My goal for the one minute is to try and add at least one color. I don't know how lucky I'll be, but one minute is a very short amount of time. <laughs> okay, micron. Actually, you know what? We're gonna have to just skip the pencil. I'm gonna go straight in with the pen. Um. <laughs> oh, I can already tell this is this is gonna be interesting. All right. Uh, go. Did I say it? Okay. Oh man, I'm drawing huge. Ah! Nope. What? Okay, those ears. Why is it so big? Okay, peace sign. And, uh, I hope this is one of those scenarios. Um, no, wait. Wait, I didn't even, uh, no, wait. Oh, shoot! Can we have more? Ah! I dropped my pen. Can I have more time? You know what? I'm gonna have to just go in with the color, because this is legs okay color color hair hair color hair color <sighs> Ooh, will i get a second color in oh okay let's go for a second color <gasps> yellow 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 you know what i really want i'm really interested in drawing <gasps> this this face the face the face i just 
Oh yeah, I did. Okay, uh, where's the skin color? Uh, uh, two seconds! Ah, oh, the only color I didn't get to is pink! <laughs> okay, dismiss. Oh, uh, okay. Well, um, that honestly felt way shorter than a minute. Was that a minute? Was that actually a minute? Okay. <laughs> it kind of looks like the blindfold challenge. Mm. Well, actually, if the blindfold challenge went that well, I guess I would consider that a success. Oh, okay. No, if that was one minute, how am I even... Uh, maybe it, what if I skip the line? What if I just go straight into color? I'm gonna actually, I spent a lot of time taking caps off. So I think I'm going to pre-decap, pre-decapitate these markers. So we got the brown, got the yellow. Actually, this is yellow. That one's the smiley face. So this one, I want the chisel tip or the fine point. I keep mixing that up. <laughs> maybe that'll help me a little. Okay, get these caps out of the way. So we gotta switch this to ooh, 10 seconds. Okay, there we go. Can we do 11? Just give myself an extra second. Uh, no, I guess that's cheating, wasn't it? Let's like pre-hold these too. What color do I want to start with? Let's start with the hair. Actually skin might be the best one to start with. That way I can get a good sense of where everything is on the picture. If I were to put these, I'm gonna like get it all over my desk. Oops, okay. All right, ready. I should maybe have a plan about which marker I'm gonna grab next, but you know what? We're just gonna have to go with it. Ready? <laughs> I can't do this. Oh, I'm stressing out already. Okay, ready, set. Oh dang, I got marker on them. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That one's not going in any museums. All right, ready, set. Which color is this? This is skin. Go! Legs, arm, hand. Uh, okay, what color is this? This is shirt. Shirt. Oh, she times up. <laughs> oh, no. No. Okay. Can I try again? <laughs> no. Okay. I didn't even get these markers, but I got two colors in. <laughs> it looks kind of like Dubby the house elf. Guess I can put these caps on in my defeat. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. I guess I didn't really uh, expect better than this, but just seeing it unfold before my eyes was something maybe I didn't want to ever see or witness. <laughs> I love how this smiley face is just a line. Attempt to draw something in 10 minutes. One minute. 10 seconds! <laughs> Oh gosh, I just need to like take this in. I'm not entirely sure what to say. I really wish I'd gotten to the hair. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Cause it doesn't really look like her without the hair. The hair is like one of her most recognizable features. What I find really interesting about all three of these is there's one feature that I apparently seemed very important. I deemed very important that I wanted it to be something you'd see. And so I like drew it first in almost every single picture. I don't know if I drew it first, but I made sure it was there before the time was up. And that is the little peace sign. So like, here we have her giving a peace. We got the peace, it's very recognizable. I still have the two fingers are still there. So that's kind of funny. I don't know if I find, I find that interesting. And then apparently the other thing I've seen to be the most important were those ears. <laughs> ears, <laughs> this is really, really fun. <gasps> Let me show you what she looks like when I have an unlimited amount of time to draw her. There she is, there's wheels, look at her. <laughs> Oh man. Well, I hope this was entertaining. <laughs> it was entertaining to me. I had fun. Anyway, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I'm glad to be able to introduce my new character, Wheels. But yeah, I hope you'll give this uh, challenge a shot. It was really, really fun. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a delicious evening. Bye!